So today we are going to see twelfth business max and chapter ten. Okay, Ogle's approximation method we are going to see. Uh, it is same uh, from the north west corner and also the least cost method. The first step already I told you the total requirements equal to total availability. Okay, the total requirement is eighty and also the total availability is also eighty. Okay, so the first point is total availability is equal to total requirement. Okay, so the transportation problem is balanced. So we can find the initial feasible solution for this problem. Okay, now we are going to solve this problem. Okay, so first, step, what is the first step? We want to count the penalty. Okay, we are going to find the penalty. So how do you are going to how do you going to find the penalty? So first, we want to take the least two values. Okay, we want to subtract these two values. So here three. So one is my least value and three is my least value. So three minus one is equal to two. So my penalty is two. So what is here? Three minus three is equal to zero. Here. Three is one my least value and four. Four minus three is equal to one. Next, one and four. So the value is what three. So now we are going to see here. So here, uh, first we want to calculate from row wise. Now we are going to calculate by column wise. Okay. So four minus three is equal to one. One minus one is equal to zero. Four minus three is equal to one. So three minus three is equal to zero. Okay. So first we want to count the penalty like this. Okay. We want to take the least two values and subtract the values. So that is known as what penalty. So now we are going to see the maximum penalty. Where is the maximum penalty is occur? Where is the maximum penalty is occur? So three is my my maximum penalty. So we are going to put one bracket. Okay. So this is my. So we want to see the corresponding row. If you are getting here, we want to see the corresponding column. Okay. So three is my highest penalty. So now we are going to see the table. Now which is the least value from this row? Okay, which is the least value? So one is my least value. So now we are going to do the allocation for the one. So what will come? So what is that? Now as usual, we want to check nineteen and twenty-five. Which is least one? Nineteen is the least one. So now we are going to do the allocation nineteen. So nineteen minus nineteen is equal to zero. So nineteen minus twenty-five is equal to six will come. Okay, so twenty five minus nine is equal to six. Already you know, if you are getting zero, we want to cancel the corresponding row. So here after there is no allocation in this row. Okay, the first step is over. So now we are going to second. Okay, if you are moving to second, now we want to find the one more penalty. Okay, so now how do you find the penalty? We want to take the least two values and subtract. Okay, so there is no change. Two will come here. Also zero will come. Here also the one will come. Here any other penalty is there? So there is no penalty because of There is no allocation, so here after. So now five minus three is equal to two will come here. One minus three is equal to two will come. Next, five minus five minus three is equal, four minus three is equal to one will come here. Three minus three is equal to zero will come. What is the next step? We want to check which is the highest one in the penalty. Which is the highest one in the penalty? We have two in the penalty. So now I am going to take this two. Okay. First, we want to check the highest penalty. So two is my now highest penalty. So now we are going to see the corresponding column. Okay, so the, in the corresponding row, which is the lowest value? So one is my lowest value. So now we are going to do the allocation in one. Okay, so one. So now as usual, thirty-four is there. Here six is there. Which which number we are going to take? We want to take six. Least value only we want to take. So it will become zero. So thirty-four. Thirty-four minus six is equal to twenty-eight will come. Okay, so if you are getting zero, the corresponding column there is no allocation. Okay, so after completing the second allocation, now we are going to see the third allocation. Before starting the third allocation, first we want to find the penalty. Okay, so how do we find the penalty? We want to take the two least values. Now my least value is what? Three minus three is equal to zero. Okay, four minus three is equal to one. Four minus three is equal to one. Here yeah, there is no allocations. Okay, so here five minus three is equal to two. There is no allocation. Everything is over. Four minus three is equal to one. Three minus three is equal to zero. Okay. So now we are going to check the penalty, which is my highest penalty. Yeah. Two is my highest penalty. So now we are going to see the corresponding column. Okay. So which is the least value? So three is my least value. So now I am going to do the allocation for the three. Okay. We want to check the availability and requirement. So here fifteen is there. Here twenty one is there. Which number we want to take? Yes. Fifteen is we want to take fifteen. So fifteen minus fifteen is equal to zero. Twenty one minus fifteen is equal to six. Okay. 
So now, if we are getting zero, the corresponding row there is no allocation, so we can cancel. Okay, here after there is no allocation. Okay, so now we are going to do the fourth allocation. So before starting the fourth allocation, we want to find the penalty. Okay, so we want to take the least to two values. So zero minus three minus three is equal to zero. Here after there is no allocations here. So here four minus three is equal to one. Here there is no allocations. So now we are going to see here. So six minus five is equal to one will come. Here here after there is no allocation. Here after four minus three is equal to one will come. Three minus three is equal to zero will come. Okay, now we want to check which is my highest number. Yeah, one is all are having one. So here one is my highest number. Okay, so now I am going to do the allocation for the corresponding row. In the corresponding row, three is my lowest number. We want to check here twelve is there. Yeah, seventeen is there. Yeah, twelve is my least value. We want to take twelve. So twelve minus twelve is equal to zero. Seventeen minus twelve is equal to five will come. Okay, so if you are getting zero, the corresponding row there is no allocation. So four minus four and six get cancelled. Okay, so now we are going to do the fifth allocations. Okay, so fifth allocation. Before starting fifth allocation, what we want to do? We want to find the penalty. Okay, so now three minus three is equal to zero will come. Here there is no allocations. Here also there is no allocation. Everything is over. Okay, so now here any other allocation is there? Yeah, we have five. So five. Here any other? No allocations. Here yeah we have three. Here also we have. Okay, so now we are going to see which is the highest number. Yeah, five is my highest number. So now we are going to see uh, do the allocation for the corresponding column. So only one number is there. So five is there. So five. So now we want to check. Yeah, twenty-eight is there. Yeah, six is there. Which number we want to take? Yes, yeah, six we want to take. Okay, if you are getting six, it will become zero. Here, twenty-eight minus six is equal to eighteen. Okay. So now 18. Uh, if you are getting zero, the corresponding row there is no allocation. Already we have filled it, so no problem. So now again we want to do that. Say now we are going to see the sixth allocation. Before starting sixth allocation, we want to find the penalty. So three minus three is equal to zero. Okay. So now there is no allocation. Here also no allocation, no allocations. Okay. So here also no penalty. There is no penalty. Here also there is no penalty. Here we have three. So here also we have three. So now which is my highest number? Yeah, three is my highest number. So now I am going to take this three. Okay. So if three now only three is there. So now we want to see here eighteen is there. Here seventeen is there. So which number we want to take? So seventeen we want to take. So seventeen. So seventeen minus seventeen is equal to zero. Seventeen minus eighteen is equal to one will come. Okay. So now again we are going to start the next allocation. So where is allocation? Only three only. Okay. So because we have only three remaining, everything, all penalties are over. So there is no penalty. Only three is there. So at last we have the same number three here also three. Okay. So here what will come? Three will come. So three three minus three is equal to zero. Three minus three is equal to zero. So now every allocation, all the allocations are over. Okay, in this OGLs we want to find the penalty. That's all. That is the only one method. We want to find the penalty, and we can do as it is from the least cost method. Okay, after finding this, as usual, we can write the transportation schedule. So for this transportation schedule, A have the allocation in one. Okay, so for for A we have allocation one. So next for A we have one more allocation that is two. For A we have one more allocation. That is three. For A, we have one more allocation. That is four. Okay. So this everything is over. Now come here. Now we are coming to B. So B only we we have only one allocation. So there is one. Okay. So now we are coming to C. C we have only one allocation. That is four. Now in C, we have only one allocation. That is two. So D, we have only one allocation. That is. That's all. Transportation schedule is over. So now we are going to concentrate the total transportation cost. Already we know total transportation cost is nothing but we want to multiply the allocation with the allocation allocations with the cost. So six five is a thirty. Six one is a six. Seventeen three is a. So we want to add, multiply all the numbers and add. You will get the total transportation cost amount is two hundred and two rupees. Okay, this is my total transportation cost. Okay, so again. So uh, in this chapter we are seeing OGLS approximation method. Okay, in this method 
first we want to oh just it's very important first we want to count the penalty okay so how do we find the penalty first we want to take the least number in each row and subtract the least two numbers we want to write that is my penalty for every allocations we want to find the different different penalty okay up to last penalty all the value should get there is no allocation that is our step okay after getting all the penalty we want to as it is for we want to write transportation schedule and the transportation cost okay Transport, transportation schedule already we know transportation cost means what we want to multiply allocations in the cost that's all this is OGIS approximation method thank you